Hey, what's going on? It's Jeff from Umpire Zone. How you doing? Uh, welcome to uh, Garage Transformation Part 3. Uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to just show you all the things that have been going on in my garage over the past ooh, week. Yeah, just about a week or so. Uh, I think last time I posted was almost a week ago, and uh, we were at a di completely different stage in the garage transformation. Uh, you can see right behind me, uh, this is my garage. I am in my garage, and you can tell that right behind me I've got a nice painted wall uh, right from the baseboard to the ceiling. I haven't touched the ceiling yet. Ceiling is well, actually, I have touched the ceiling in one way, but I'll show you in a second. Um, but I've got a lot of things that have happened in the garage since the since last week, and uh, one of those things is that the flooring is done. So this is a beautifully coated floor, uh, courtesy of Zone Garage 203, uh, which is a, a local company for me. Uh, matter of fact, uh, the guy who uh, kind of ran and uh, did this all for me is a uh, co-worker's relative. So it was pretty cool to uh, help out a friend of a friend and uh, and get him get him some business at the same time. And then uh, I don't really, I, it's hard to see because of the light, but right up there I've, I've uh, installed an LED uh, garage pull string light. Big difference in the garage. I'll pull the string on it right now. And we see a big difference in uh, in the lighting in here just with one of these lights. And I'm thinking of getting a second one and putting it on the other side of this I-beam up here. Uh, also, what I've done is I've painted. I've painted this concrete wall. This was primed, I think, last time I, I uh, showed this to you. And I'm working on getting some baseboard. I've got baseboard all the way up to there. And I just need to put a little bit, a little bit right in that spot right there. Uh, as well as a couple of spots around uh, the other uh, rest of the perimeter here, uh, but so far this is the this is the coolest thing that's happened so far. Uh, I'm going to step back this way, and you can see it right behind me. I've got my uh, my power rack. I actually just finished installing an extension on it, and I have I put together the flat bench. I have an inclined bench. I haven't bought it back out of the laundry room yet. I still have a lot of stuff back there that I need to kind of get situated. I put a couple of shelves up right back here, a couple of mats that I usually had. Down here, this is a, oh, there's right there. <laughs> that's, a that's a dip bar uh, that I can attach to the rack and do, you know, chest dips, tricep dips, things like that. And that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, working on just kind of getting this, this room cleaned up and arranged, but this is pretty much the layout that I'm going to go with. For, uh, for my gym. You can see here that I've got uh, the Bowflex Select Tech dumbbells that I reviewed on my channel a couple years ago. Um, I have these uh, nice two by two mats that are all set up in a nice L shape, so I've got plenty of room to do some deadlifts. I can do some deadlifts right about here. And uh, I can also, uh, in the back here, get some cardio, uh, push-ups, things like that going on there. And uh, obviously, I've got the rack for everything else, uh, bench and squats, deadlifts, shoulder presses, things like that. I'm looking forward to uh, using this rack and start training on it pretty soon. I also have a, this, this really cool over here. I, mean, you, I personally have not used this yet. This is a landmine attachment. That's right, right there. I'm trying to just get the window right there. Um, and that one here is going to go uh, where I can take my barbell, which I've got right there, and stick it in there and do some back exercises and some, also some chest and shoulder exercises. I'm kind of excited to do that. So all I've really left for this, this rack here is I've got to attach these weight holders for these weight plates that I ordered. I ordered 310, oh sorry, 350, no yeah, 310 was right. Uh, 310 pounds worth of bumper plates. I have some change plates on order as well that I'm going to you know, fill out here. And I'm basically just, this is gonna be my training center. And uh, I'm looking I'm looking forward to having, having it all set up. Uh, I have some things I wanna put up on the walls and that, that's a work in progress. Everything in this garage is a work in progress, but I, I know that uh, I'm excited to bring uh, more videos to you to show you what, what I've been doing and how I've been doing it. Um, it's really cool. Uh, I, this room is completely different. It's it's feel I felt I feel like I've added a completely new uh, room to my house instead of using the garage as a parking space because I've got parking spaces behind here. I might as well use this space as something functional. And so it's going to be my training area. We're going to get a ping pong table. It's going to be pretty awesome down here. And uh, the fact that I've got all these walls painted and the floor done and it just it, it's a world of difference down here. And I'm looking forward to using it. Anyway, hope you're enjoying it. If there's any Anything you want to see uh, in the garage or you want to know what I've done, how I did, just comment below. I'd love to uh, answer questions that you may have about, uh, about this garage transformation. Anyway, have a wonderful day, everybody, and uh, don't forget to be awesome.